we are going to start. Thank you. Today we are going to introduce the loop family. Loop families we like to do backflips. You know what a backflip looks like, right? Yeah. So we are going to look at the first one. Tiny little bit letter E. So we want to do letter E. We start from the bottom. And letter E. Let's just say Ella because Ella start with E, right? Little Ella likes to do backflips. She jumps up, did a backflip, then landed on her feet. This is how we write letter E. So this letter E is short, so make sure you land on the red carpet and also stop at the dash line. So guys, please try to write letter E several times. Ella, you might want to write more because that's your name. <laughs> I'm going to write two. Maybe eight times because I'm eight. Okay. Back flip letter, family. Okay. When you when you write three or four, you can just stop, then we can continue. Okay. Thank you for showing me. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now let's continue. This one, this one's letter L. Mm, let's think about a name. Maybe Lila, okay. Lila likes to do backflips too. The only difference is that Lila can actually jump higher. So Lila start from the ground level, jumped super high and did a backflip and landed on her feet. Okay, this is L. So try it. Make sure it's very tall. So make sure you touch the blue sky and land on the feet. So try to write Lila. Hey, Corbin. We just got started. We're working on letter L. So it does a backflip when it reaches the blue sky and land on her feet. So try several. So Everett. Um, Everett. Okay, try to make sure your L lands on the red carpet. Let's not go through the carpet, okay? Let's write three or four. Okay, when you're done, you can show me. So I can give you some suggestions and also I know that you're done. Okay, thank you guys. Hey Sebastian, um, a suggestion for you. When you write cursive, look at the entire letter. It's not totally straight. It's kind of uh, slanting towards the right, right? So when you write cursive letters, make sure they're not really totally straight. Slant them towards the right. Let's go to next letter, ladies and gentlemen. It is letter B. Let's say Becky. Becky is also a great jumper. Becky jumps super high, touches the sky, and did the backflip, landed on her feet, and then she jumped on the bridge. Just stopped there. So she did one extra thing than Lila. So start from bottom, go reach the blue sky, jump down, and hop on the bridge. So try several letter Bs. Are you guys done? Okay, can you show me please? Okay, I do see that you guys might need a couple more practice. 
make sure your letter B is touching the blue sky, because Becky is really good at jumping. It jumps very high, so try a couple more. Make sure it touches the sky. Thank you. Much better. So much better. Yeah. Yeah, Sebastian, when you write, still remember all the cursive letters are kind of leaning towards the right side. So they're not totally standing up straight. They're kind of leaning, like falling, like a pizza tower, right? Pizza tower in Italy is kind of leaning towards the right and kind of falling, but still standing there. All right, let's move on to next. Thank you, Corbin. Move on to next one. H. Um, I am thinking about Henry. Henry uh, or Hannah. Yes, it's going to be Hannah. <laughs> Hannah likes to jump. Hannah likes to hike. So here comes what she does. Hannah starts to jump super high, did a backflip and landed on the ground, and she still has a ton of energy, so she jumped over a mountain and landed on her feet. That's what Hannah did. So go jump high, come down, then jump over a mountain, then take a break. So try to ride several H's. Make sure it touches the blue sky, guys. Yeah, thank you for showing. Anybody else? Okay. Okay, Everett, please pay attention to the beginning part. It starts from here, from the ground, and go jump high first and did a backflip. Then did a climbing mountain, mountain hump. Okay. All right, let's continue. Let's do next one. Next one's the letter K. Uh, Corbin, that's Corbin. <laughs> so Corbin likes to jump too. So Corbin starts from the bottom, jumps super high, touched the sky and did a backflip and landed. Corbin's like, I'm going to climb mountain too. So Corbin jumped over the mountain. Then he tucked himself in and then kicked out. That is Corbin. So let's try again. Start from bottom, jump really high, did a backflip, then jumped over the mountain, tucked in, then kicked out. Try several. Corbin, you might want to try more because that's your name. Okay. Everett, I didn't see clearly. Can you show again? I want to see letter K. Okay, guys, I think we do have to redo this one. Okay, please look at the screen. Look at my paper. Make sure, okay, so when you go up and you go down, when you go over the mountain, make sure you tuck in first. Tuck in touches the beginning part, and then kick out. So tuck it in first before you kick out. If you don't tuck it in, that's just going to be like H, like Hannah, right?
Is it getting better this time? Great. Okay, let's move on, guys. We're going to do next one, which is the last one for today for the loop family. And this one is F. Let's just call it Frankie. Okay. Frankie also likes to jump. She starts from the ground level. She jumped super high, touched the blue sky, did the somersault or backflip. It landed, but too bad. It fall into a hole. But... She was lucky she found her way out and about. Okay, let's try again. Jumping from the bottom on the ground level, go all the way up to the sky, did a backflip, fell in the hole, but found her out, found her way out, tucked it in and kicked out. So try this one. This one is kind of challenging to me. Just to remember, this one's super tall, touches the blue sky, and also it has a long leg, so it peers through the carpet. Okay, can I see yours? This one tricks people the most, so I would like to see how you did it. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to review this one super fast. Okay, I'm going to write one for you. You need to look closely, everybody. So we start from the bottom, right? So go all the way up diagonally, then turn all the way, go straight. Went through the carpet. Look, don't write yet. Look, you're not looking so I can't continue. Okay, look, then turn all the way back down, pierce through the carpet, then turn right. Touch, then kick out. You have to make sure you're turning right from the bottom. So go up, go straight down, turn right, then kick out. So try it again. Try it again, please. So it should look like this. It looks like a dancing person. <laughs> Hannah, can you raise a little higher so I can see? Just put it a little higher. Hey, okay, Hannah, the first two are right. The third one, you turned left. So try it again, please. Yeah, Everett. Thanks. Okay. Hey, Corbin, you need to make sure you turn right. So when you go up and go down, go down straight, straight down, don't turn. Then turn to right. This side is right. Turn right instead of left. Can you try again, please? Sebastian, can I see yours, please? Yeah, Hannah, that's right. I can't see your F, so I need to see your F. Um, how do you adjust it so I can see your F better? Ella, I need to see yours too. I didn't get to see it. Uh, can you get closer? Because I can't see it clearly. Yeah, you got it. Um, I still can't see yours, Sebastian. Can you raise a little higher, Sebastian? Okay, got it. Thank you. All right, Corbin, can you, so after our lesson, can you please ask your mom to help you with the letter F? Because I can't be there to help you, to show you. Um, so your mom, it might be better that if your mom shows you. So can you please try to write about 10 times of the letter F? And that's it. Okay. Thanks for having this lesson. That's it. Today is the Loop family. And next week we are going to do, hold on, what am I doing here? 
next week we are doing the hump family hump families they like to climb mountains so we're gonna do that one next week um, that's it i'm going to stop recording then you guys can share okay, okay you